The MSA Carnes 1836 traditional fire helmet is designed for easy cleaning. Disassembly and reassembly can be done in just minutes without needing a specific tool. There are five parts of a fire helmet, the shell, the impact cap, the suspension system, the soft goods, and the eye protection. To start the disassembly, begin with removing the soft goods. The three pieces to the soft goods include the ratchet padding, the brow padding or inner liner, and the ear laps. These three components are machine washable, but should be air dried. Follow the Carnes 1836 user instruction manual closely for detailed washing instructions. Redesigned for the Carnes 1836, the soft goods utilize fewer hook and loop fasteners that can wear out with repeated cleanings. The soft goods instead utilize pre-made holes designed to fit right onto the suspension system. They also encompass a large area of the suspension frame to limit any pressure points from prolonged wearing. New to the Carnes 1836 fire helmet, the ear laps are no longer affixed to the helmet with hook and loop fasteners. Instead, they simply snap off through a series of four quick connect fasteners. There are two fasteners in the back and two on the side. Once the soft goods are removed, begin removing the headband assembly from the helmet. The headband system is connected to the impact cap through a series of five quick connect tabs along the front, side, and rear of the helmet. Simply dislodge the tabs and gently pull the headband out of the helmet. Now you're ready for one of the most exciting and innovative features of the Carnes 1836 traditional fire helmet, the easy removal of the impact cap. Completely redesigned for removal without a specific tool, all you'll need to detach the anchor base system is something as simple as a pen, a key, or you can use a screwdriver. To disengage the impact cap, push in on both anchor tabs until you hear a click. Once you have clicked both tabs open, just pull up on the impact cap foam liner and it will lift right out of the helmet shell. This allows for easy cleaning and maintenance of the shell, as well as easy inspection to check the integrity of the helmet. Another exciting feature is the articulating defender visor, built right into the helmet. When fully assembled, the visor lives right within the helmet between the shell and the impact cap. If the helmet you're disassembling has the optional visor, you'll find it also easily disconnects from the helmet. Deploy the lens to the downward position, then simply pinch the two pressure points on the side of the lens and it will lift right out. Next, remove the washable chin strap. The strap unsnaps from itself and can then be pulled through the loops affixed to the anchor base system. Like the soft goods, the chin strap is also machine washable and should be air dried. For detailed cleaning instructions, see the user instruction manual. The final step in the helmet disassembly is the removal of the suspension system. The suspension straps also connect to the helmet through a series of quick connect fasteners. There are six total to unsnap. You can remove these by pressing on the tabs with your finger and pulling up on the strap. You can also use something like a key or screwdriver to assist in the removal if needed. Removing the suspension system reveals one of the new features of the Carnes 1836. There are no adhesive labels with important product and certification information on the helmet. Instead, the Carnes 1836 features laser engraved labeling built into the body of the helmet. This eliminates the problem of labels peeling off or the print on labels wearing off. And that's all it takes to disassemble the Carnes 1836 traditional fire helmet. Now, let's reassemble it. Reinserting the suspension system is the first step. The front and rear center tabs on the straps are identical and can be inserted into either the front or back of the impact cap. 
Once you've reinserted all the quick connector tabs, it is very important to thoroughly check the straps and make sure all connection points are fully engaged and secure. Next, if using the retractable Defender visor, snap it back into place. This is done by lining up the tabs on the end of the visor with the connectors just behind the anchor base system. Push down until it snaps into place, then push the visor up over the impact cap. The next step is returning the headband assembly system to the impact cap. There are five connector points. When lined up, push all five tabs into place. This is also how you adjust the ride height of the helmet. New to the Karns 1836 traditional fire helmet, there are three options for ride heights. One of the ride height options is a half inch lower than previous Karns traditional fire helmets. Next, reinsert the impact cap into the helmet shell. This is done by lining up the anchor bracket pieces and lowering the cap into the shell. Once it's in place, re-engage the anchor locks by pushing in on them until you hear them click. Now you're ready to reinsert the soft good pieces. Start with the inner liner. Line up the pre-cut holes with the quick connector tabs on the headband assembly. Once those are attached, Fold the inner liner back into the helmet. Don't forget to reattach the hook and loop fastener piece on the underside of the inner liner to the suspension system strap. Make sure you feed it through the center of the suspension webbing. Next, reattach the ratchet pad to the ratchet assembly by looping it around the ratchet system and reaffixing the hook and loop fasteners. Then, reattach the ear laps to the helmet. To do this, line up the four quick connect tabs on the ear laps with the insertion point on the helmet. The four tabs will snap into place. Once all four are connected, you're ready to move on to the final step of the helmet reassembly, replacing the chin strap. Make sure the chin strap ends are unbuttoned, then feed them through the loops attached to the anchor base system. Once they're fed through, snap the buttons back into place to secure the chin strap to the fire helmet. And that's the process for assembling and disassembling the first fire helmet on the market that doesn't require a specific tool. The innovative features in the Karns 1836 traditional fire helmet allow for faster and easier firefighter helmet maintenance. For more information on the MSA Carnes 1836 traditional fire helmet, visit msafire.com today.